Alrighty, I am just making a quick video to explain what's going on. MSI B450 Gaming Plus motherboard, six PCI slot, all set to Gen 1, running with an Athlon 3000G, one stick of eight gig RAM, nice big you know, cooler, all the fun stuff, hard drive, 850 watt power supply, gold rated. It's a power flower, I think, or something along those lines, super flower. Uh, I got three XFF, or XFX 5500 XT eight gigs. I have another one that is a Challenger, don't even remember anymore, and then a Zotac 1060, and then this gigantic Azrock 1060 gigabyte dealio that has VR enabled abilities apparently. Uh, running splitters to three VGA cables, all that fun stuff. I am Ethernet with a HDMI to DVI output to that screen, not that screen, that screen. Um, <clears throat> I have the bio set up exactly as the way you did it on your channel. And uh, on here, all of these are set up accordingly. And uh, if I go into Afterburner, pop this open, you can see it's even showing up a seventh one. And I'm not sure what the deal is. is. Only this one is the one that clicks on, actually shows up when I click on another one. And okay, it all goes to zero and I can't change any of these numbers. So not sure what's going on with that. Uh, it's funny because that's not even in the sixth slot. It's in the, well, this one is in the fifth slot. This one is in the sixth slot. So, um, that's already applied. Come over here. Radeons all show up like they're supposed to because Radeon's amazing. And uh, nothing, nothing at all. It's just five out of six, but that's just because the CPU is disabled. I'm not gonna mine on a 3000G. 3, 3, that's uh, kind of pointless. But uh, if you could help me out, I would really appreciate it. You seem really knowledgeable about this. And thank you for making that other video. It's been very helpful.